Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle in case you didn't know. Now you do. I know it's in the title, but hi, I'm Danielle. And today I'm doing a what's in my bag. Um, I just got a new purse a couple days ago and I thought I'd show you the crap I already have stuffed in it because it is um, filled to the brim. So um, this is my bag. I picked it up at Winners, which is actually pretty typical for where I purchase bags from. Uh, the brand is Expressions NYC. It is vegan leather. Um, they claim to be ethically made. I'm not sure if that's just because they're vegan. Um, but it is actually a good vegan leather um, because I, I sew with leather a lot. I know sort of like a good vegan leather from a like bad like faux leather where it's like quite stretchy and doesn't feel like leather anymore. So um, yeah, I don't know what the model name is uh, for it, but it is like this sort of like orchid but brown color. I don't know how to describe it. It reads more like taupe on camera but it does have a slightly like orchid tint to it you know like that color that was um, the Pantone color of the year was it last year the year before I don't know um but yeah it's um very full it has these top handles here and then it does have a crossbody strap this one's a little short for me, just a little, um, because the handles are there, they kind of like get in the way a little bit, but I just like the bag so much that I'm trying to look past it, and I mostly have just been carrying it by the handles anyway. Um, once winter coat season comes along, I'll mostly carry it by the handles, or I might shorten the strap a little so I just carry it on my shoulder, um, because a crossbody bag won't work. So, um, I guess I'll just show you what's in my bag. Um, first up, I guess, so it has two outer pockets. This one snaps closed. They go pretty much straight down my hand. Um, like my thumb doesn't really fit in there, so like I have to be careful only long things go in here. Um, this one snaps closed, the other one does not, so I've been putting my phone in there because I can still reach it. There's nothing in this pocket here. So in the main part of the purse is my beanie. Um, this is one I've made. You can buy them for yourself if you want through my Etsy store. Um, this one's made of a soft gray knit. I think I have one more of these. So um, message me if you want one. And I love this thing. I wear it all the time. Basically, if my hair is down, I have a beanie on when I'm outside. Alright, I just came from the dollar store with my sister, who has a bad influence on me because I wouldn't have bothered to go there if it wasn't for her, but whatever. Um, picked up some Maltesers, like snack size, I don't know, candies. These are friggin' delicious, and I love them. They are kind of hard to find though, you can only get them in packs like this, you can't just get them in bags from like Walmart or whatever, so... I got those, get another pack of them, and I also got some milk duds because I love caramel things, so, yep. Now I've got my debit card, uh, which is bent actually, not sure if you can tell, um, because I left it in my pocket and I somehow managed to bend it, so yeah, that was fun. Alright, next is my wallet, um, which happens to be a business card holder that I made, and it sort of works as a wallet, sort of doesn't. It's just not quite, there's like not enough gap in here, so I've been using it that way, but I kind of really need to get an actual wallet. Um, and in here are all my, like, my loyalty cards and my debit cards, my other ones from my business and, you know, other stuff. This just goes across here with an elastic so it holds it all together and it looks cute it's made from recycled leather at that one oh what else is in here okay 
got a reusable bag. This one has weird like sheep on it and I've had it for probably 10 years now. So it has held up really well. It just needs to be washed every once in a while. Um, let's see. I have a notebook that I got from HomeSense. Yep, HomeSense for $4. Um, it's nice and small, fits in my bag if I need to. I had uh, an email marketing workshop that I went to this morning and that's why I had it in here. I didn't even open this at all. Could have saved the space in my purse. Then I've got this cute little bag. Um, it's, this contains like all the loose crap that I don't just want floating around my purse. So, I mean, I've got important paperwork, um, tampons, a ring. Uh, I took this off and put it in here for safekeeping. Um, let's see. Highlighter, pen, pencil, Sephora lip gloss, um, doggy poop bags in case I'm out with my brother's dog, um, some clean rain scented perfume, a Burt's Bees lip balm, uh, Glasses, wipey thing. That's pretty much it. Just a lot of highlighters, which I'm not really sure why I carry them around. This bag, if you're wondering, is from Gold and Ginger. And I really like it. They designed the print on the outside. So, um, yeah, I bought it at a market earlier in the year. I think you would have seen the haul for it. I'm not sure. I can't remember if I put that up. I don't know. I have the keys to my car. So I have a Kia Soul that I purchased in April. Um, well, not purchased. I don't own it completely, completely yet. The bank owns most of it. So I've got my keys for that. Um, and I have a little, like, a uh, knife on here. It has a blade and a screwdriver um, and bottle opener on one side. Then I've got keys to my house and a keychain that says crafty as fuck from... I can't remember the name of the company, but I will link it in the description box because I know you can buy them online um, or ones like this because these are really cute. I'm not... It's not gonna focus is it nope it's not all right that's okay um then let's see what else we got oh we've got random change in the bottom because I don't have a change pouch so I have let's see I've got a toonie which if you are anybody else but Canadian. This is two dollars and two quarters and two dimes. So, you know, I'm loaded. Just in case, you know, you wanted some money. That's, you know, just gonna put that back in there. Then there's um, actually like a center pocket, which is the most useless pocket. I'm very tempted to actually cut it out of here because it is a zipper pocket, but it has excessive lining. Like it goes all the way to the bottom and there's things in here. So I have a little pack of tissues that I never even opened. I have my um, iPhone headphones and then the little uh, adapter. I would really like an adapter that goes from lightning in to headphone jack out. Does anybody know if that exists? Because I have, um, like I sometimes just bring these with me to Starbucks and I would like to be able to edit videos with these headphones and they can't plug into my computer because my computer is a headphone jack, not a lightning port. So yeah, anyway, those things. 
And there's more things in here. I can see them. Oh, there's a pen. Uh, random pen. Not random. It's a nice pen. I love this pen. It's from Dory. You guys know I'm obsessed with them. Um, oh, oh, one more thing. And my business card wallet, which is exactly like my other wallet, except the business cards actually fit in here. Moving on, that is everything from inside the purse. The only other thing is my phone, which happens to be in the front pocket here. And I just got a new case for my phone, which is like super thin, thin on Amazon. It's really great. I am enjoying this a lot. And because it's all black, it just, you know, goes with any outfit, which most of my outfits have been completely black these days. Uh, and then I got a new pop socket, which has a metal top on it, like an aluminum top for like 10 bucks, I think. Um, so I'm very much enjoying that. I also just got a new um, screen protector. I'm not sure how well it's doing. It's not a tempered glass one. It's like a bendy plastic one. But that is my bag. I quite enjoy it. Um, but I'm, I'm seriously, seriously considering cutting that middle bit out. It'll mean it's just a big open hole, um, but it's a very useless pocket. Don't really know what else to say about it, like, most useless pocket in the world, but, you know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know my videos have been very sporadic in October, as in I think I've uploaded two in the whole month. Um, but I appreciate you guys sticking around. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys again soon. And bye!